Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to start with how to define materials. Sorry for that much delay in my subsequent videos, but I will try to make videos more frequently as compared to what I have done. Like, I will try to make more frequently these kind of videos. So please subscribe my YouTube channel for more such videos. Let's start with the uh, our slide. How to define materials? Like you probably uh, like face this issue while simulation in Silvaco, how to define materials, how to define their properties and how to use that properties to uh, run our simulations and like sometimes uh, somebody needs some like some different materials for their purpose but that is not available in Silvaco. For that there is uh, some method to uh, define that kind of materials here. So I will uh, show you that thing here. But before starting, uh, please subscribe my YouTube channel, okay? And that is my motivation to uh, like to make these kind of videos. So start with uh, the first slide. So as you know that we generally have to define like semiconductor, insulator, and conductor in our simulations. So like uh, also it less have these kind of things strictly like as uh, the word is used here like strictly there is only th th these three things uh, semiconductor insulator conductor there is no four things here available here so each class like each material have you know that there are some specific properties like for uh, like conductors there is a very narrow band gap difference or there is a very negligible band gap difference and for semiconductor there is a little bit larger than uh, what it is for conductors and similarly for insulator it is very much bigger so for that you have to specify their properties like some metal have some different band gap some metal have different band gap and uh, by which the simulations properties are very like simulations conditions are varying or simulation things are varying so uh, all the things we have to take in consideration biggest prop like at affinity is also one of the most important properties similarly Conduction band density, valence band density, it, that all are the most important properties. So in simulation, we have to define these kind of things. Uh, so for that, how we can proceed in Silvaku, I will show you that. Uh, basically, I will also make a one more video on how, what what thing you can define in material statement. But for now, I just uh, like show you that how to define some new materials here. Semiconductor. As you know that semiconductor have uh, in between properties of whatever uh, like uh, what is a for conductor and what is for uh, insulator so like for that uh, like generally we do simulation based on semiconductor only semiconductor region must have a band structure defined in terms of band gap density and uh, density of state and affinity so for uh, semiconductor like you know that we have to define band gap density of state it's all matter there so we define that thing there and for like one more term here is you can see that the parameters used for any simulation can be equal to the runtime output using model sprint. I will show you that also like how model sprint help you to show the properties, all the significant properties uh, like what it Silvaku or uh, taken or uh, like Silvaku used here in their simulation. You can see from the model sprint statement and like you are using that statement but you don't know what it means so i will show you that what it means and also there is a one more thing output band dot param so you can use uh, this band dot param in your output statement so such that it will help it will help you to find mole fraction dependent models this quantity can be you uh, seen in tony plot uh, like uh, you can just uh, make a cut line you can extract these things uh, whatever the uh, like composition on x composition on y things so one more thing I will add here, like there is one more note, uh, semiconductor region that is defined as an electrode is then considered to be a conductor region, right? Like sometimes what happens is like we need to make a like ZNO or sometimes in solar soil simulation what happens is sometimes we need to make the topmost metal as a electrodes and in many places also like sometimes in TFET also we need to do that and like by sensors also we have to do that. So, so what happens is like if you define the topmost material like topmost metal or material uh, as a, as an electrode as an electrode so what happens is that silvaku is considering uh, within that as a conductor so you don't need to define that, that as a conductor it is already be a conductor so you can take care of these kind of things and now for insulator you know that insulators are having a very low conductivity so 
for it will at least uh, usually it solves the uh, insulator material by using poison and lattice heat equation like wherever it is required like generally it solve with the poison then it uh, like it have to consider the lattice heating then it uh, solve with the lattice heating uh, equations for uh, isothermal condition like isothermal condition you uh, like mean that the temperature is same the only parameter required for that is dielectric or permittivity uh, so dielectric means like permittivity you required only the permittivity so uh, generally what happens is uh, in biosensors uh, like simulations uh, example i am giving an example like you use that cavity you fill the cavity with the some biosensor things and something and that uh, you use uh, their permittivity properties many place also there where you use the permittivity change the permittivity and uh, you can see the result so i will show you that also like but for now i just give you the little bit explanation here there is one note that sometimes what happens is uh, some insulator we like in whatever defined in uh, silvaku we uh, like sometimes we need to uh, use that insulator as a semiconductor so for that uh, like there is a blaze model the uh, blaze uh, module you can say in silvaku uh, so like you with the help of blaze you can define all the parameters like whatever the semiconductor parameters is and then you can use that insulator also as a semiconductor and like that is a, a that is the one of the best thing about this simulation software so now we are going to the conductor so you know that generally conductors are defined at the top of the metal so silvaku have uh, the properties that all the conductor material must be defined as electrode so it defines all the conductor material as electrodes and all the electrode regions are defined as a conductor material regions okay so this uh, you can uh, like read the slight line it is uh, one of the like highlighting the major point and there is second thing like what a uh, thing what importance like it you can define the massing according to that like generally in electrical simulation only the electrode boundary nodes are used nodes that are entirely within the electrode are not solved or not used right so that means that for electrical simulation you can take that uh, like little ma less massing at the electrode region because as it says it will only take the boundary uh, boundary nodes not other than that so you can uh, like use that for your simulation and you can define the less massing there but for optical simulation it is very important there and lattice setting is also one more one more consideration so for uh, like optical simulation you have to define the dot nk file for that also like if silver is uh, at the top or some other material is at the top which is a metal so you have to define the dot nk file for that for that condition you need to define little uh, better massing there so such that uh, like uh, it will take consideration of the inside the conductor points also like in electrical simulation as i told you that it will not take the inside points it takes the boundary condition only boundary nodes or boundary points only for their calculations but in optical simulation it will take inside points also and for uh, lattice heating condition also it will take inside point also so now the user defined materials in atlas like this is the one of the most uh, like bigger question you guys are like uh, find uh, thinking about that like how to define material in atlas so uh, like as i read my slide lines in order to correctly define a new material in atlas you must specify the name of the materials the user group it belongs to and the non atlas material it is to take as a defined material so these like as uh, this line states that you have to define the material using the user dot group or user group or user dot default or user default so these two things you have to take in mind and once you set these three elements up in their appropriate place in the input deck you can change the specific properties of them using material statement as you would normal to like as i explain you over right you can define the band gap and other things so you just use the user user group and user default and you can do the same way what you uh, you are using uh, in initially like how you define the material initially you can use that way here also so user dot group and user dot default like as uh, uh, like above statement is stating that user dot group like there is a three condition is there as i as i already stated you that uh, they in silvaku there is three class of materials so user dot group you can define as semiconductor user dot group you can define as insulator you can define it as a conductor also so like uh, if you are defining the uh, like unit semiconductor use that user dot group and uh, user dot group for insulator and similarly for uh, conductor also. 
so one more thing uh, like you have to define that user dot material as a material name in your uh, like in region statement you have to define user dot material uh, like that will help you to like Silvaku have to know that this is a new defined material so Silvaku have to know right so for that you can use that and there is a user dot file like non atlas material which is available in Silvaku so like sometimes you need oxides so for oxides you can define uh, like uh, like uh, like assume it like there is a material name uh, HEO2 like I have defined some different material like it is uh, this some this is an appropriate material but as an example I am saying that I have I have to define some material like HEO2 so that is not a like mm, like material available uh, anywhere but for that what I can do is I can use that material also but I have to define user dot default for that and user dot group for that and I can use that and user dot material at the region statement just I can use that so now comes to what material is available in Silvaku you you probably have a question that which material is available in Silvaku so these kind of materials are available in Silvaku uh, I have added in slides so such that you it will help you that uh, if it is not the material which you want to use uh, so you have to define that material so these all are in manuals but for your help purpose I have added all the materials here you can just see and uh, like recognize uh, like which material you need and which is available uh, in Silvaku so you can compare both of them and uh, use that so similarly here you can see insulators many insulators are available see that like BPSG, BSG, HFO2, HFSIO2, L2O3 and uh, sapphire oxynitride like see oxynitride is also available oxide is also available jadar jadar 2 vacuum all are available here similarly uh, like uh, conductor is also available pcm palladium psi polysilicon pdsi silver tantalum tsi tin tsi titanium tio tiw like this all are available here similarly organics materials are also available like this is a, like one of the uh, essence of the software like you can use the organic material here also uh, like alq3 organic blq3 cvp cupc iggo ipby even like some of the organic material is not available but you can define that uh, here also like you just have to define the dense uh, like defect also here like defects you can define like i will explain you that what is defect in uh, silvaku and that is in subsequent videos you have to wait little bit but i will explain you that what is the how to define the organic material and what is organic defect so now coming back to this uh, slide like you, see, you can see the pentasin pvv tetracin tpd all are available here so now this is uh, like uh, from uh, my my uh, materials one and now i will go to uh, simulation hi this is coding sessions and actually sorry for the noise you can see here in background noise to do some my fan is like little bit creating noises so that's why sorry for that but now i will tell you that what is how can you imply that material statement in your uh, like in coding so see here like this is some basic template right i have used the direct statement it, it is not you can like you will not take that in consideration because that is some randomly i have defined to show you that how to use the material statement like how to define the material here so for that i like uh, there is a no electrode no doping statement i just define the material statement and then i just save the structure file so you can hear like you can see that there is a material material zn t easy 10 10 and uh, affinity 20 and c300 290 something it defined so like you can see that this material have this band gap energy so this is a defined material as you can see in that list also this is a defined material so i don't have to define like material material is equal to zn t i have to not write the user dot default or user dot group here but for like one material i have defined like hi this is mine material okay hi this is mine okay so this is my material name which i have defined so for that i you have to take care that you have to define like user dot material in your region statement where you define even you can change it the its name like uh, like hi this is mine i have changed like a this is like this so it will define in silvaku and i can add its properties like the here also i just add it like this name also i add here and its properties also i have added so this is some material defined like and one more thing like you probably think like uh, i have explained you everything user dot group and user dot uh, default but something you may say that why you use oxide here why don't you use other materials for that i will tell you that basically try to use uh, like if there is oxide 
is you use so use oxide if you use the use nitride so use oxy nitride or something nitride there and for user or default if you use uh, something like material which is related to almost related to that like something sometimes what happens is i am using cdt but uh, like think like there's a no cdt available here so if there's a jdnt then i can use that also here jdnt and use that similarly if there is some material like you may see, see somebody talking about some uh, like gallium metal is not there so like that you can uh, there's their related material you can define as a user or default or which you can use or either you can do also that silicon also you use here silicon uh, is also semiconductor and you can just override the properties which you want like sometimes moreover like sometimes we want to uh, like uh, conduction band density and some other parameter also like a band gap narrowing parameter also so for taking that in consideration we usually define uh, it as a related materials like so materials like as i defined here so user dot default for user dot default you have to try to make it uh, tune with some related material only uh, but if it is not available you can use that silicon also it is not the issue but you have to tune that silicon in a better way such that it tune in better way such that it will give you that result you want from that kind of material like if it is some like hs vvf some material is you want some kind of result from that so you have to tune that user dot default such that it will act like the material you 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 are uh, like uh, the new material which you are defined so this is the taking consideration here okay for uh, user dot default okay and uh, this is all from uh, my simulation side and i will run and i will show you that what it is uh, is so in my simulations uh, this is uh, some error you can you can ignore it is to do some uh, like some sps uh, server error it will go away okay no no issue so this is only i have done the structure uh, like i have uh, just save out of and structure file only so that's why it is only structure file but you can see that there is a material hsa vf something material which i have defined so like you now understand that you have to take care of user dot material in reason statement and you can define material material equal to this like this and its properties like here and you have to uh, find user dot default for your one your for your purpose and also i will show you runtime output like i have run the simulation now so you can see the time also 2014 and uh, and also you can see that uh, like there's a error here you can see that i have not defined the electrode here so that's why it is saying that i have not defined like i have ignored the electrode here right see so that's why it is the error and also you can see that grid points are very less here because i have done the spacing like this i will tell you everything in uh, like and, and other videos uh, but for now uh, this is about the materials and if you find more if you want some more about like if you find something error in my explanation you can uh, like ex uh, tell me in my comment box it will help me to uh, like in future videos i will take care of that those things so like this all from my side thank you thank you for watching my videos bye